I'm trying to block the wind with my hand, so hopefully that, that helps. It's hot and windy here in Texas. So here is the, in my opinion, my honest, humble opinion, the easiest, fastest, least expensive, highest flow, uh, lowest risk setup in, in, in setting up to uh, what my niece is calling water cubes and it can't it, you know I overthought this for months I have been working on this project for months and months and months and it just can't get any easier to this um, now on the I I the, the tube over here is for the first flush system and that'll that'll attach um, when the rain gutter comes down and then it'll, it'll have a T and come over into the top of this tank here then when it comes in it's going to go down this tank and into the tube and then fill that tank and then come out of the faucet here. So let me just kind of move in here. This cannot get any easier or cheaper. If you have a four foot piece of a two inch pipe, then uh, you're in good shape. All right, so what do we have here? So I can get it so there's not so much of a shadow. We've got a, uh, I call this compression uh, fitting. It's a two inch compression fitting. I've got, uh, and that, this uh, clamps right onto the spigot here. Inside the compression fitting, I've got a two and three eighths inch cut, uh, a long uh, two inch uh, uh, PVC. I've got a, a, a 90 degree turn here. This goes down 41 inches to a T. Uh, I've got, an, an, again, in here, the same two and three eighths inch piece of uh, two inch uh, PVC. I've got a two inch to three quarter inch reducer here. I've got the, um, the threaded piece of tubing here. I've got my uh, high flow. I had not. I don't know what this is called. You know, faucet, uh, ball valve faucet or whatever. And then I've got the brass fitting. That is it, folks. It doesn't get any easier. Uh, venting is easy because you got a two inch pipe. Uh, the water can go up through the uh, air can go up through the pipe. Um, filling is going to be uh, good because of the uh, nice uh, two inch size pipe. You're going to have a, a great flow, high pressure. Uh, you have very few fittings um, and everything uh, is, you know, is huge. The openings are huge. I don't know if you can see inside of this, but that is a huge opening when you use this uh, ball. It doesn't have a name. When you use this uh, ball valve. Yeah. It's a compact ball valve is what it says on it. And so you're going two inches all the way down to right here, right in front of the hose, and uh, you're in good shape. So I cannot do it this way for my, I have to do it a different way because I don't have enough room. This is sticking out into my walkway here, and I'm concerned this is gonna get knocked off. So I'm gonna actually set it up how I'm gonna uh, uh, use it here in my house and show you an alternate way. It's gonna take a couple more uh, uh, 90 degree um, turns, but that, that's about it. So, if you uh, are considering doing uh, water storage and a rainwater system, well, let's just disregard the rainwater system. Let's just talk about, you know, we're in a third year of a drought. This is, I found out it's the third year, not the second year. Uh, our, we found out that our blackberry plants didn't produce because they just didn't get enough water. Uh, you don't have water for your, for your garden, you're not going to eat from your garden. You don't have water for your home. You're, you know, for drinking, sanitation, cooking. You're going to be in trouble. So if you if you're on a well, that's awesome. Maybe you don't need this. If uh, you have a swimming pool, uh, maybe you don't need this. I'm just a city dweller, and uh, I don't have a well. It's over 400 feet deep and ten thousand dollars for me to dig a well. I don't have a swimming pool. My neighbors do, but I don't want to have to trade uh, for what I have put aside for my family to get water from them. Uh, so this is the fastest, easiest, cheapest way to do this. You, I get six uh, cinder blocks. I get two uh, 275 gallon totes. I simply wrap them in, in uh, six mil black plastic. I connected them with four feet, uh, 48 inches total of, uh, um, of uh, two inch pipe. Use a couple of compression fittings, use a reducer and a ball joint. And I, I like, uh, the reason why I went with brass here, I like brass on brass 
for my garden hose. And that's it. Uh, you could do this easily in a, in a, in a day, uh, less than a day, um, and have here 275, that's 400, 520, 550, 550 gallons of water right here sitting next to your house. And you can put this in your garage. Now, it doesn't have to be uh, hooked up to a rain gutter system. But if you wanted 555 gallons uh, worth of water storage, and it cost me 75, 75, 150, and say, let's say 20 bucks, not even, but let's just say 20 bucks for, for piping and cinder blocks, we're looking at, um, what, 170, uh, $170? I've seen 500 gallon water storage systems for $500, $600, $700 um, that take up the same amount of uh, square footage on the, on the floor. Uh, so that's just my recommendation. I think water is, is really underrated. It's, it's really, really important. You have to have something. Uh, if you've got a backyard, if you have a garage, you can have 550 gallons worth of uh, water storage. Just stick it in the garage, fill it up, and forget about it, okay? Uh, you can, if you want, you can rotate it once a year. Just open up the valve down there and let the water run out. But uh, this is the, the, the smallest footprint, highest capacity, least expensive way to get 555 gallons, uh, 550 gallons of water. And if you only wanted to get one, it's you know 75 bucks plus some tw another 20 bucks for you know well, actually you don't even need that 75 bucks and then you just need you know this basically and you're you're set. You don't even need that if you didn't want to go to a garden hose. You could just open up the faucet here. Okay, so 75 bucks in your garage and you've got 275 gallons worth of water storage. I don't know of a better way to do it. I honestly don't. And I just really encourage everybody to get make sure they have water. Water, water, water. You've got to have water uh, for sanitation, for drinking, for, for bathing, for cooking, for watering your garden. Please uh, get some water. So I'll get off my little rant there. And uh, I'm going to finish up this here so you can see how I do it and then how I connect my other four together. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so this is what I had to do for my uh, narrow walkway here. And you can see I've got quite a bit more uh, uh, walkway through here. I'm not worried about this sticking out here as it did what is in the past. But all I did is uh, I, I, ju I just turned this uh, 45, so it went this direction, added about uh, six inches. It really doesn't make a difference how long this is, any length you want. Um, just use that same piece down here, came and joined, and there we are. We're all set. It doesn't get any easier than this um, unless you just go straight down the front like I showed you. So if you're in a tight position and you need to go sideways, this is how you do it. So obviously I haven't glued anything yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and uh, make it all, all tight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the top tank with uh, faucet, uh, tap water and I'm going to time to see how long it takes from this tank to empty and this one to fill and give you an idea. If you've got uh, 275 gallons of water and uh, you've got a two inch pipe, how fast that will fill that, that um, the system below. Be right back. Okay, it took uh, exactly 53 minutes to fill up uh, this tote all the way to the top here. Hopefully you can see the water there. And uh, I have the tubing under pressure right here. So this is ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test, uh, this, is, this valve is open, this is, tube is flooded, this valve is closed, we want to see what kind of pressure volume we get when we open up from just having uh, water on the top. Now it may be a little interesting to see how to do this with a headwind, so I'm going to, I'm going to pause here in a second, and uh, for a second, I'm going to pause here for a second to see if the, if the wind will die down. Okay, so this is water pressure test for, for just having water from the top tank. Whoa, the cow. That is, that's uh, awesome water pressure. Strictly from the top tank. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this valve and we're going to see how long it takes to fill up the bottom tank. Here we go. Uh, let me uh, start my watch. 
Okay. The top tank is now filling the bottom tank. And we'll see how long this takes. I'll be right back. Okay, so that took nine minutes almost exactly to completely empty this top tote to the bottom tote. And you could probably hear it's completely empty and the stick comes up dry. So nine minutes uh, with a two inch diameter PVC pipe to go from 275 gallon transfer from top to bottom. That's pretty impressive. Now let's take a look at the uh, water pressure. Okay, we're gonna test the water pressure from below. This is open, let's see what happens. Very good, not as much water pressure as with from above, but significant amount of water pressure. Yes, that's excellent. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the top again, and it's taking me about another 50 minutes. Then I'm gonna uh, test the water pressure with both tanks full. All right, this is uh, an addition to the video, but the, when you're done wrapping these, what you want to do is um, cut a hole, uh, take your knife, and the plastic will be processed, and just cut on the inside of this lip all the way around here, and then pull the plastic down. That'll make a nice, snug fit all the way around. Then what you're going to do when you are for, for the bottom ones is you're going to need to seal the lids. And let me show you what I've done. I've got some uh, silicone sealant here. Uh, this is obviously not uh, big enough to do three, see, uh, three uh, lids because what you need to do is you need to come here and take this off, this bung here, this screws off, and then completely use the silicon all the way around the threads. It actually makes it easier to go back in. Uh, if you don't ha have a bung tool, this is a bung tool I got at Emergency Essentials. It was so very inexpensive. And uh, it acts as a pry bar for five gallon buckets and has the bung tool right here so you can get in there and, and open up the, the bungs easily. Uh, and then this is for, I believe, turning off water or turning off gas. But it makes a really handy tool. Uh, so you need to take that out, put the silicone sealant all the way around the threads in here, then take silicone sealant and put it all the way around this rubber gasket, and then all the way around the threads, then put this on, again this is for the bottom um, totes, then, uh, then put this on and uh, put it on really tight. Now for the top totes, you'll need to uh, take this out and you'll need a seal, silicone gla uh, silicone that, and then whatever you put in here, uh, which we'll show you, uh, you'll need a silicone that. So everything is uh, watertight, and it'll it'll work great. Okay, we got the top tote and the bottom tote both completely full, 275 gallons of water. What well, we got this valve open. This is flooded. This is open, and now we want to do our final water pressure test. And here we go. Wow, that is amazing. I don't get that kind of water pressure out of my garden hose. So that is really shooting out there. Go ahead and turn that off. So, um, wow, that's a lot of water pressure. If you don't need that much water pressure or if you're concerned about your, lo your lower tank getting too much pressure, once uh, everything's filled up, you can just come out, come out, turn that off and open up the valve, let a little pressure out, and you may be able to see, as I let the water out, the actual um, tank get lowered. It's coming down a little bit. Hate to hate to waste all that water. And anyway, I want to keep it under pressure just to check my leaks. Well, hopefully this uh, has helped you out, and uh, an alternate way to inexpensively store a lot of water Again, um, I just you don't have to connect the two. You can just stack them and use them the way they are, just stack them on top of each other. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just drop a uh, tarp over it. You don't have to wrap it in plastic. But whatever you do, please get some water storage. Your family is counting on you to, for water. Um, I will show you the other system I have set up with the other four totes in the next video. This is LDS Prepper out.